A decade ago, the bankruptcy of Equitable Life was quite a shake-up to the insurance world in the UK. I asked Professor Steve Haberman why the world's oldest mutual life insurance firm went bust and what happened since then. Well, Equitable Life was the first uh, modern insurance company in the world, so it started mm -hmm. in 1762. In the 1980s, it started selling pension products with a guarantee um, called a guaranteed annuity option, yeah. which meant that you were saving and when you retired, you had a guaranteed rate at which your savings were converted into a pension. But the economic climate was changing. It was developed in a, it really as a marketing tool to make the products more attractive. Yeah. And at the time it was invented, the option was not worth very much. The interest rates at the time were very mm. high and the option being, the guarantee being provided, was worth very little. And so the, the equitable took the view that it didn't really need to set aside any money because the value of the option was zero. All right. But options never have a zero value. Yeah. They always have a value. And the problem for the equitable was that value changed over time. Interest rates came down. People started living longer and longer. The equitable was not tracking that change in value. And by the time it did, the, the values of these options become quite significant. Mm. And that led to the equitable effectively being insolvent. What did the insurance world learn from this bankruptcy? The government set up the Penrose Review, which undertook to go through all the details of the workings of the equitable to really understand yeah. what, what was going on. It also set up the Morris Review, which looked at the role of the actuarial profession mm. in this case, but more broadly, mm. in terms of, sort of stepping back from the profession and it, it uncovered a whole range of issues relating mm. to, to actuaries. In which you took part. I was part of the group advising the Morris Review. Yeah. So people were bringing lawsuits against the yeah. government for regulatory failure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which is still in the news 11 years on. From. Will the policyholders be reimbursed? They will be reimbursed, but only for a proportion of their losses. The policyholders will die before they, they will eventually receive their compensation. Some have, but yeah. obviously people are living longer and longer, so yeah. you know, just, uh, not, 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 not many will have died, I don't think. Uh, and this is, this is an issue that's really a problem that's affected the middle classes because the equitable was yeah. the chosen pension provider for a lot of self-employed people, a lot of lawyers, a lot of judges yeah. in fact used, used equitable um, and so it's actually some quite knowledgeable people have been affected by this so it, it, one cannot say mm. that this is something to do with people who not understanding a product, no they they understood what they were doing in buying the product. Yeah. It was more about the managing of the insurance company and then the regulating of the insurance company. Can we expect from policyholders to understand such voluminous information? Financial literacy generally is, is a problem. Some people think that by saving 2% of their salary over 30 years, they'll have enough yeah. to pay them a pension of 50% of their salary. And mm. the arithmetic just doesn't work. Mm. And then there's the other element is the understanding probabilities. Yeah. Do, if my car is worth ten thousand pounds, why is my insurance yeah. motor yeah, insurance yeah. policy five hundred pounds? And understanding that what well, it's to do with the chances of an accident, the, the size of the damage yeah. that might occur if you do have an accident. Some only found out that they couldn't claim a refund once their house was already floated. That should not happen. I mean, there, there should be much better dis disclosure. Yeah. And, but this, this, is, this is partly, I guess it's partly the insurance companies, but they do have the rules about treating customers fairly. Mm. But then it's the customer needs to listen, you know, not turn yeah. off the brain right. when mm. someone is running through some stuff that sounds boring. Mm. It's actually being explained to you for a reason. It seems that people are expecting from insurers, a bit like pharmaceutical companies, to act more like government bodies than for-profit firms. Many consumers probably don't fully understand the nature mm. of insurance yeah. and um, you know, the, the, the way it works, that one, one pays a premium and then one receives something back mm -hmm. if an event occurs. Yeah. And the idea is that the event is a random event. I mean, it's mm -hmm. not 
a contrived event. It's a way of helping people and protecting people against flood, early yeah. death, living too long, having something stolen. If you had to advise interests willing to become even more ethical and moral, what would you tell them? I think find a better way of communicating with, yeah. with the customer. I mean, the footnote is satisfies the regulations, but do people read the footnotes? Yeah. And then you could, and a number of companies do this, you could look at the way insurance companies invest the money. Mm. Do they invest the money ethically? Yeah. yeah. So there, there's a, a tension between investing the money to get the best return yeah. for the consumer. Um, but that could mean investing in um, mining that's destroying an environment or investing in the arms industry. Yeah. Or does one invest ethically? So invest in ways in which mm. somehow society is benefiting. Banking's become sexy. Mm. Banking's the one that's had the crisis. I mean, insurance essentially provides a service to people mm. when they need help. But the AIG went bankrupt. Yeah, and it was a group in AIG mm. that were, actually they weren't using insurance principles. I mean, they were, uh, they, they, they were making things up that were, yeah. um, probably the rest of AIG would have been very unhappy with. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. they managed to destroy AIG, not yeah. through insurance. We thank you very much. Thank yeah. you.